Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to continue or pick back up from where we left off in our last video. In this one, we will be setting up some of these uh, actions to actually do things. So right now they're set up to our board. So all of these are connected. These little dots indicate that they are all connected to something within here. Um, and we're just gonna take care of it. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and try to get the easier stuff out the way. So we know that our cancel button is probably the easiest because we don't really have to think about uh, too much when we're doing that. We just want to be able to cancel um, this controller or dismiss this controller. So let's do that. So we're just going to, for our cancel upload, I'm just hopping around a little bit. And let me just close some of this stuff up so I can get some more room and close this up as well. And I don't think I need, at least not as much to see that. Okay. So our cancel upload is just basically, we're gonna dismiss this view controller. And then animate it. Okay, sorry about that. Move my microphone so I can actually type. Okay, and that's it for that. So we're just basically, when this button is called, we're just going to dismiss this view and it should pop back to our the view that called this, okay? So the next thing we want to do is let's handle our camera. Now we remember from last video that, well not last video, but the one of the previous videos where we upload our profile image, we need to add a couple of things. So we need to add the UI image picker controller delegate. Okay, here it is. And then we have to add the UI navigation controller delegate. And just right there. All right. Now we also need to get, um, create a variable for the image view controller. So I'm going to just call this uh, image uh, view control controller equals UI image view controller. You picker controller. So let me just do this. Do picker. And then UI image picker. I knew something about what I was saying didn't feel right. And that's what it was. So we are creating a um, very global for this class uh, access to our picker controller. Now, one of the things we want to do is let's go ahead and set the camera up. Now we want to be able to pick from the library and also take a photo. So let's first deal with taking, and I'm actually going to jump down here. So pick photo from gallery and take photo action. So this is gonna be the camera and you could probably name this something else if it makes more sense to you. And one of the things that I want to do is, cause I'm not sure if later on I want to factor this out or uh, refactor this application. So I'm going to just create some class, some little functions here, instead of writing it straight into the action. So function, uh, get photo from library. Okay, and then we're also gonna do a function get photo from camera or take photo, how about that? Take new photo. And then we're just gonna call these two from the button action. I'm gonna call this from here and we're gonna call the take photo Oops, control Z, control C from here. All right, that looks good. 
Now, if you remember, we have to implement some of the classes that are in this UI image picker controller to really do anything. So let's add those as well. So I'm just gonna add those above. No, I'm add it below. So I'm gonna go down and say function image picker controller. And then I'll have to implement the code for that. And then function image did cancel. Image picker controller did cancel. All right. So we're looking good. We have those two taken care of. Now with this, when we cancel, after we select the image, um, we want to just go ahead and dismiss, I believe. So self.dismiss. And we're just gonna say we wanna animate that. And that is going to um, the completion. We're not gonna worry about that right now. Um, now, in Instagram, when we cancel the action, we we'll worry about that later. We'll worry about it later. Um, now we let's go ahead and set up the image picker controller function. So basically, once we select the image, so we have a chosen image is equal to info, just like last time, UI image, picker controller, original. I am doing original in this case. I'm not allowing editing, uh, just for simplicity, as uh, UI image. And if you were, there's a video I have uh, setting up a profile that you guys, if you guys wanna see how to do the edit, being able to zoom in or whatever for a photo, you could check that out. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just plop whatever image we have into our UI image view. So this, we want to, whatever we choose in this camera or this from our gallery or from our photo, we're going to put it here. So let's do that. So I'm just going to say, what is, what did we call it? Post image view. So I'm just gonna copy this. And I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna say post image view dot image is equal to chosen image. Okay. And then we're just going to dismiss. All right. So that looks good. So now we should be able to pick an image from the camera. Well, we should actually get the camera to pop up. And then once we pick an image, um, we can go ahead and put it into our UI image picker. Now we need to set up our library. Let's do that first since we've done that before. So in this function that we just set up, get photo from library, which is going to be called when the button uh, pick photo from gallery is selected. And to be honest, you probably want to get better names, but I didn't even think about it. And this could probably be a little confusing. So let me actually instead hmm, take new photo, take, okay, that, that seems pretty good, right? Get, pick, well, get, pick, take, take, um, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set that up. So we, we have our picker that we set up all the way up here that we're using, so this picker. And I put it there because we're going to be using it for our photo library as well as the photo. So picker.delegate is equal to self. Okay, we're gonna do that first. We're gonna not allow editing. So picker.allow editing equals false. Picker dot media types equals UI image picker controller available. Uh, keep typing image uh, picker controller dot available. Mm, let's try this again. 
equals UI image picker controller delegate okay picker control Ugh. I am confusing you guys UI image picker controller dot available media types and then I'm just gonna say four dot photo library because we're trying to get from the photo library okay and then we're gonna present the picker now this is where we're actually presenting the picker animated true completion uh, nil all right so it looks like we should be able to run this just to see if this works out for us let's see yeah it should so let's go ahead and run it Okay, so let's go ahead and hit our profile. And in this situation, we are, we're not gonna hit our profile. We're gonna swipe over to our photo gallery. That's right, we're done with the profile. Okay, so let's hit photo gallery, just as we exist. <laughs> just as we expected, our uh, gallery comes up. I'm just going to select the first photo here and boom, it pops into the image view and is as we expect it and we can move on. So um, because this video is already past my kind of uh, 10 minute, um, I guess, guideline, I'm going to stop it here and the next video we're going to do we're gonna do the code for the camera however i won't be actually testing that um or maybe i will maybe i'll figure it out and and, and try to get it tested for you guys uh but our, yeah our next video will be handling the taking a new photo from the camera and after we do that, we'll then do the uploading it to uh, the storage uh, with with this function, with this action. So once somebody, once I choose a photo, so here we chose this photo. Let me quit that, force quit. And when I hit the share button, what I want to happen is the photo to get loaded to uh, Firebase. So if you're, interested in this um my next video is going to be a code video so we can get this piece finished as well as taking care of the caption so i'll see you next time bye